Welcome to this short video on the amortized analysis of the incremental strategy for dynamic arrays. There's a whole video about dynamic arrays, also including this analysis, but if you just want to see the analysis, this is the video for you. So let's get started. We want to analyze the running time for n push operations, so for a sequence of n push operations, and we call this T of n, the running time for n push operations. And we have an initial capacity of C. So the first C push operations, those will be simply constant time recovers. So we can add those elements simply to the existing array. But then with the C plus first push operation, then we need to increase the array size. And the incremental strategy simply increases the array size by C. So we get an array of size 2C. And this costs us O of C time because we need to make an array of two, size 2C and copy the elements one by one into that new array. Then we can do C push operations in constant time each because we have the space. Then at 2C, then we increment to a size of 3C, meaning we have to copy, create an array of size 3C, copy the elements over, and so on. So then we end up 3C. Generally speaking, we have these terms, I mean, we have the plus one terms, obviously, always, but we have these terms of the type I times C. Now, the question is, what is the last such term? The last such term is a term such that I times C is just below N, and then I plus one times C would be above N. And the last such, such term, there we have as I, N divided by C, rounded down because that's the last i such that we stay below n. And then there are, of course, maybe some more constant time push operations where we simply can use the array that is there. Let's add this up. First of all, we take all of the ones and add these. For that, we just need to know how many ones do we have or how many ones do we have at most. We only have overall n push operations, so we have at most n such ones. So n is an upper bound on the number of these ones. Then we still have the term c, 2c, 3c, and so on. So we have c plus 2c plus 3c, and so on. And this goes up to n divided by c times c. Now we take the c out of the sum. Then what this gives us is n plus c times and now we have the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to n divided by c. This is now the arithmetic series, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on. If, if the sum goes up to n, then it evaluates to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. If the sum goes up to n divided by c, then it evaluates to n divided by c times n divided by c plus 1 divided by 2. So what we get is n plus c times n divided by c times n divided by c plus 1 divided by 2. Now this is n, and now we're interested in the order. So we have order, this is c times, we have two n terms here, n and n, so that's n squared divided by, we have two c terms, c squared, so that's n plus order n squared divided by c. We assume c is a constant, so this is simply order n squared. Now that is the sequence of n push operations. I want to have the amortized cost pair push operations, this is this divided by n, so we get as amortized cost for one operation t of n divided by n that is theta of n squared divided by n which is theta of n so of order n one push operation on average takes linear time so and that's why the incremental strategy is not a good idea thanks for watching